Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Hazik and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Solana. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to check that out. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now let's jump straight into the TA. Taking a look at the daily chart, as you can see, it seems like we are printing a descending triangle here. If we add this resistance level, you can see that we are printing lower highs and we keep bouncing off of this horizontal support. As you can see, a lot of bounces, five in total, and this definitely looks like a descending triangle. And if we were to continue in this pattern and we were to expect the most likely outcome, which is a break towards the downside, we could potentially uh, look at $100 as our support. Realistically speaking, that would be this level over here, the February 2024 low, which is a very, very realistic level for us to hit if we were to continue downwards with this Bitcoin correction. So from the top here at $139, you can see that Solana went down approximately 44%, which is not a lot whatsoever in comparison to all of the other altcoins. So Solana has been performing extremely well, in my opinion. What we also did is we, of course, gave you this support block between $121 down to $117.50. And we were testing that level as resistance in 2023. And then once again in 2024, then we broke above it and had multiple back tests of support. Now, will this level hold or will it crack? That is the big question, of course. And I'm not here to, you know, give you a 100% accurate prediction. I'm only here to potentially uh, to look at both potential outcomes, right? So I want to look at the targets to the downside and the targets to the upside. So if we were to lose our February or rather April 2024 low, as you can see, we set up the Fibonacci here from the local top there in May to the bottom in April. And these are going to be our extension levels. And the minimal target is sitting at $101.69 and then $95 for the 1.414 which is very close to this February low. And then we have the 1.618 sitting at $86. And they line up really nicely with the support levels that we have based on these lows as, as well, as you can see. So if you wanna set up some buy limit orders in advance, feel free to do that. In case we are gonna see a nice bounce from this July low here, we could run into the white resistance trend line one more time that could line up with the 0 0.236 resistance there at $168. So if you're looking for a short to mid term trade, that could be one that you can eyeball. If we were to break above the white resistance trend line, you could target this local top from May 2025, but I would not be expecting anything more powerful than a break above $184 because, you know, the market sentiment is not right. The environment is not right. And uh, Solana potentially still hasn't even completed its correction. So if we were to drop down just like all of the other altcoins, and let me remind you, those altcoins went down approximately 50 to 65%. So if we were to drop to $100, that's only a 53% correction. So that is a very real possibility there. Don't discount that. In terms of buying, do I think this is an optimal entry point right now? Probably not. I would say probably not. And again, that's just my opinion, but I wouldn't be entering Solana at these prices unless you just want to dark cost average and you're planning to hold on to Solana for a very long time and you don't mind the fact that it's probably not going to do even a 10x from the current prices, then sure, that's okay if you want to buy at those levels ex with those kind of expectations. But if you're looking for more potential profit in the future, I would look at entries from 100 down to $86 if we end up, you know, being fortunate enough to catch those levels. If we quickly switch over to the daily chart, 
Let's take a look at what's going on here. So we have a bullish divergence. That's okay. Now a bullish divergence is when the RSI prints a higher low, but the price action doesn't. So that's a divergence there. And usually that leads to a move to the upside. However, we haven't really seen much upside here. And it's just a small little fractal here. It's not gonna, it's not gonna significantly affect anything. But overall, the RSI is in the lower part of the chart here for the relative strength index indicator. And uh, if we were to dump and our, the RSI is gonna be sitting, let's say somewhere at the index of 20, kind of like we were back in December 2022 in June 2023 and uh, you know May 2022 that's going to be a really really good buying opportunity but as of right now Solana hasn't really dropped as much as the other old coins let's switch over to the weekly chart so we can take a look at some long term targets and before we continue with the video i want to give a quick shout out to my patreon if you're interested in getting more exclusive content, you want to support me as a creator, and you like what you're seeing here on YouTube and you want more, feel free to check out the Patreon. That's definitely a place for you. There's a seven day free trial, which means you can get access to all of my content since the inception of the page. So that means you get podcasts, low cap gems, uh, technical analysis, project reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. We try to do posts there on a daily basis. We cover airdrops and a lot of stuff that we don't really cover on YouTube because we don't have as much time. And of course, because patrons get more stuff and more content. And uh, if you're interested in that, the link is down below in the description. Thank you all. Let's continue on with the video. Okay, so on the weekly chart, we are holding the 786 Fibonacci level, which if I bring out a uh, price label and put it right there, you can see it's sitting at $126 roughly. And we had a back test of resistance all the way back in March 2022. And that sent us into this downward spiral all the way down to January 2023, where we bottomed out below $9. And on the daily chart, if you watch my past videos from 2022, 2023 for Solana, we've we've been covering this entire bottom. We gave you all of these levels here. So if you set up buy limit orders, you would have been uh, you would have bought in, of course, if you were bullish on the project, you were targeting Solana. But if you weren't targeting it, like, for example, I don't have any Solana. I haven't bought into the project because I was very skeptical after the FTX FUD but it ended up playing out very nicely. And of course now I wish I had bought, but I decided to play it safe uh, in 2022, 2023. And then we had this uptrend here in 2023, a massive breakout in October. And of course it led to this consolidation right now. We are below the 20 MA on the weekly. That is kind of negative. Worst case scenario is we come back to the 55 EMA on the weekly chart and we bounce off of that. And from there, we continue to the upside. That would be the worst case scenario if we're still expecting a continuation of the trend. If we absolutely dump and lose all support levels, lose the golden ratio here, then yeah, that's just, you know, bear market territory. We have bearish crosses across the board. It's not going to look good. But if we hold some sort of a major support level, like the 55 EMA, for example, or this low from March 2022, which is at $77, then we should be good. Don't think that just because it's dropping below $100 that effectively means we're done for. No, and that's not how it works. In terms of percentage, that's still not going to be terrible, okay? That's only going to be 60% which a lot of old coins have dropped down to, even some have dropped down to 70 to 80% uh, from their local tops there. Taking a look at the stochastic, it's sitting at a really good spot here. If you're looking at the weekly chart, this is a good buying opportunity. And you can see we are being uh, suppressed here between the EMAs and the support level. We might have some sort of a short-term breakout here, a relief rally for Solana, that is possible, but 
I don't want to give you false hopes, guys, because the markets could continue dumping. And if that happens, you know, the chances of Solana pumping on its own are not very high. The RSI on the weekly is not looking too bad. However, I would like to see it recovering slightly lower to these two lows from June 2023 and September 2023. That would be a really good buying opportunity, in my opinion. By that point, if the RSI is down here, sitting at the index of 40, the price action should also be slightly trading slightly lower than $100, hopefully. And that will provide us with great entry points. And if we're looking at long-term targets, I would say you have $609. That's going to be your minimal target. And in my estimate, this is your bull market top. I don't think we're going to get to $1,000. But again, I could be wrong. I wouldn't be holding until $1,000 anyway. It's, it's not worth the risk. And then you, of course, have the 1.414 sitting at $966. I would not target 1.618. That extension is way too high, in my opinion. I don't think Solana is ready to get to those numbers yet. Uh, in the next bull market, maybe in the current one, I don't think so. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what is your average buying price for Solana. Let me know what are your expectations. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.